What's good, everyone? Justin here from Fear Quest. Welcome back to the Plastic Soul. Happy Halloween, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful night. Um, Trick or treating, eating some candy, drinking some booze, watching some horror films, conjuring some demons. Or maybe loved ones. I don't know how that works. Uh, or whatever it is you guys do on Halloween. Um, but no, we're going to bring you a look at uh, NECA's new retro cloth 2018 Michael Myers. Um, I've been sitting on him for about two weeks now, I guess. Just now opening the night. You know, I'm not big on unboxing on the video. But, but I put some uh, pictures up in the front of the video for you guys to see. So, um, And I'm just displaying him here with my Trick or Treat Studios. Uh... 2018 mask as well just for you know fun of it uh yeah so let's check this guy out you know he did come in one of these window boxes that they've done uh not the normal clamshell that we normally get with the cool artwork and stuff and i don't know what's up behind that i know the nun my nun figure and my tom atkins from uh, night of the creeps they both came in these boxes as well so i don't know if that's to do with certain movie companies, I don't know why they're doing that, or if that's just the new way they're going to go, but I did get the uh, Freddy, you know, New Nightmare, and he was in the clamshell, so I don't know where they're going to go with that. I do miss the artwork, but I do also like these boxes. I mean, they're good. You can like, hang them on the wall, and you don't even have to take the figure out. I mean, these guys fall over. We'll get into that in a minute, but he did come with this uh, backdrop here. It's pretty cool. You can take some tool, uh, cool toy photos and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it's the same thing in the Ultimate, Michael. I don't know. It maybe, very well could be. I need to check that out. But he is accessories. He did come with this knife and a hammer right there. Come with, sit on here, guy. Using one hand tonight. See this hammer here. Some blood painted on there. I need a manicure. And the knife. I'll pop it out here. No, I won't pop it out at the moment. It's 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 in there. For the head sculpt, I did pretty good on this. Don't look quite as good as as the ultimate figure, um, but I like it. It's got a good profile. It's not like the uh, masks, the trick or treat masks. They have better profiles than they do, like, from up front. I've got one, or the 78, and part two, and the, this 2018 one. And they look okay from the front. They all look good from the side. I don't know. Got the uh, detail on the hands there. Pretty good sculpt on that. Some shiny blood there. Some on the inside of his palm, his thumb, and on his fingers. I, I like those on the his finger. That's a good touch. And then this hand, you know, the closed fist with the knife. It's got some blood on it. I don't really care for how they streak that on there like that. I don't know. Looks kind of funny. But, but yeah. Anyways, check out the uh, sculpt on his, on his ankle boots here. Seen a little bit better than that before. Um... Big ass thumbnail. I burnt my thumbnail earlier. Lighting up freaking jack o' lanterns. Neca, can we please get some uh can we get some foot pegs? We really need some foot pegs in these cats, because they do not like to stand up. And I'm a big fan of keeping my figures out of the box, so like I'm always walking in and these guys are taking, you know, face plants off the shelf. I use some blue tack on some of them. I know I can't get all the stands, but I got so freaking many of them I wouldn't need so many stands. And yeah, uh, the the coveralls, they're a little bit different. I figured they would kind of go with the same route as they did with the Roy um, Friday the 13th figure, but they didn't. It's total, total new coveralls here. I don't know if I like them more or worse. I'm going to have to like, look at him for a few days for a while and find out, but um, I don't know if it's a step up or a step yeah. down. Uh, he's got the blue coveralls. Before they ever announced this, Michael... I've seen some people do some things, and and I I even thought I was gonna get another one of these Roy's to try to make a custom, but they we've got Michael now, so uh, if they could get the rights to one, that'd be sweet. But but you see these uh, coveralls are bulkier. <clears throat> it's a it's a much thicker fabric than than what Michael's got going on here. His is really thin, 
pockets are pretty... Oh, shit. The pockets are... We're falling apart here. We are not stopping. We will not stop. Uh, the pockets are offset. Looks like shit, honestly. But, uh... Still. It's not a deal breaker. He's cool. What the deal breaker is, no foot pegs, NECA. No foot pegs. Stay. But yeah, his is much thicker. His are a lot thinner. They're like, like a paper thing compared to the Roy figure. So, uh, let's see what this uh, cat's got under the hood here. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's got a little... Uh, he's got a belly shirt on, man. Oh, and it's taped to his stomach. I mean, you could pop a, this head off and put like a freaking normal dude head on and have a victim from a Friday the 13th movie, man. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's that's badass. Yeah, see how this pocket... I mean, come on. That's, that's ugh. But, anyway, overall, this guy's freaking cool. And, and see, it's baggy. I kind of like the baggy look. It, it reminds me of, uh, I guess his coveralls were pretty baggy. And, well, one, they were baggy. H2O, they were baggy. So, a little baggy here. They weren't baggy in Halloween 6, but... He's a little thick. Halloween 6 is my favorite Halloween, though, by the way. I'm get a lot of thumbs down for that. But, but no, here he is. Articulation, we'll get onto that, too, as well. I'm just mumbling and jumbling here. Uh, it's standard. Looks like the other bodies. He's got that one elbow bend. The wrist will rotate. It... Is there a bend? No, there's no bend. They just just spin. And legs will do the splits. He's got a single bend in the knee. And his little ankle boots here will move up and down. No backward and forward. Or I mean no no sideways. The head will go all the way around. Uh don't tilt much this way, but he does have a little head tilt this way. So you can give him a little bit of the Myers head tilt that way, but none that way. So yeah. So there you have him, 2018 Retro Mego inspired Michael Myers from NECA Toys. Uh, I give this guy, you know, two thumbs up. Get him. He's pretty cool. He goes good with the rest. Only complaint is I'm going to find him face first on the floor, you know, every three days when I walk back here, so... Uh, yeah, I picked him up at GameStop. I pre-ordered him from GameStop. GameStop's the go-to now, guys. Uh, I see a lot of hate for GameStop. And shut up. Quit hating. I mean, they're becoming a little more of a game store anymore because there's nowhere really that sells these collectibles out in the wild. You gotta order them. And I freaking hate ordering online. I'll do it, but I don't like to. I like finding my stuff, you know getting it at a, at a store it's much more i don't know i like it better ah cheers mateys um so anyway yeah go pick him up gamestop uh if you have to amazon him whatever but he's worth it he like i said he only came with the knife and the uh hammer but um you've got plenty of pumpkins and everything else if you've got any of these other figures and tombstones and whatnot so yeah there you have it Anyway, happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, have a good night. Watch some good movies. Eat some good popcorn. I'm about to make some popcorn. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do some stuff. Watch some horror movies and just chill out. So, anyway, until next time. Love you, kids. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe. Hit that bell. I'm out. You turn your back on these guys for two seconds. You got Tom Atkins and Jamie Lee over here getting drunk with the freaking gremlins partying down. Oh, man. Happy Halloween!